Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com and what you are looking at right now is an armrest spacer kit for the Eagle Power Folding Wheelchair. Also works with the Falcon and Electra 7. Great opportunity to go ahead and pause this video so you can learn where to find us online. We're going to put this spacer kit on the Eagle Power Folding Wheelchair. What the spacer kit does, you can see that these are specially machined and these are actually made of, of metal. These are not plastic. These are not little O-rings. We have uh, steel screws as well. And we have uh, an eagle that has in between the arm rests just a fraction of an inch under 19 inches of space. And we want to add approximately three and a half inches of space to this eagle. So it has about 22 and a half inches of space. I'm going to take the joystick off it's going to be one thing that makes this a little bit easier. I'm going to put the chair in three wheel and we're going to focus on what do we need to do in order to accomplish changing the spacer kit. Very simple. One of the Allen wrenches that actually comes with the chair itself. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and very carefully unscrew the screws for the armrest and we don't want to lose anything. So I advise that you would keep those in a very safe space. You can see that there's here, if you pull this off, there's a little washer that sometimes can pull out. So I'm just gonna set that on top of the actual arm or the, the cushion of the chair itself. And we're just going to get this screw unscrewed here. Same thing, that guy comes right off. And now we have the ability to bring the armrests uh, completely away from the chair. So what I might want to do is I might want to just bring the armrest up a little bit. You can see that an armrest may give you slight bit of stubbornness here like this one is. And I'm just going to finish the rest off. Now you can see if there's any stubbornness, it's because one of these plastic inserts might have got stuck somewhere. So just make certain that we have both of those intact before we move forward. So I'm just going to get that out of the way. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to slide this armrest over, I'm going to slide this over here. Perfectly normal that the top one is going to have a little bit of slack, like a tiny little bit of space there. And the bottom one's going to go flush to the chair. So next step is I'm making certain that we have and you can kind of see how this has a little bit less thickness than the top one does. So everything lines up, everything makes perfect sense. I'm going to, to the best of my ability, line these up, put these guys through here. And then I'm going to, I'll start with the, uh, with the top one. Now these screws, if the screws come bone dry, I would just use a tiny little bit of WD-40 or just oil to lubricate the screws. And what happens here is this goes all the way through. These are steel screws, they're very strong. This goes all the way through to the frame. So I'm just going to screw that in. You can see real time. I don't like to edit any videos. I don't like to Hollywood eyes or add music or anything. Show you exactly how it is in real life. I don't make it too tight. I don't want to create any problems. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the uh, bottom here. So we talked about the importance of having that right there. It just slides right through and we've lined everything up. Sometimes they give you a little bit of a, you know, might give you a little bit more of a, a resistance in, in certain areas. And these, this one seems to be going on exceptionally smooth like most of them do. Even if it's a, a tough spot, it's just a tiny little bit of elbow grease and then you're perfectly fine. So that just has to do with the actual arm rests of the chair and how they've been used. So again, I'm not going to put too much pressure on and we can see that we're you know, just a halfway, halfway done here. And we've basically not really taken a whole lot of time. Um, look at that. I mean, that's basically gives you a little bit more space. You could just do one if you wanted to. And with one, we'll just pause real quick and, and take a look at what, what width this added before we do the other one here. Just gonna get these screws out of the way. 
put these on the ledge. I don't want to lose these. And let's take a look here. Inside of the armrest, inside of the armrest, we're now 20 and a half, which is large. So let's go ahead and get this chair turned around. And we will go ahead and very easily work on the other armrest. So same thing here. One of the things about the Eagle that people like so much is that it's, it's rated to hold up to 400 pounds and it only weighs 50 pounds with, with no batteries, with both batteries in it weighs a total of 58 pounds and it's a portable chair. So it's great, oh, that's a little bit tighter. It's great to go in the trunk. Uh, fits in the trunk of just about any car and it is FAA travel approved and it's one of the few chairs that actually has the, the batteries actually in the frame of the chair right here. So not underneath the chair in what I would consider to be a backbreaker location. So this, this one right here, it's gonna be the same thing. I need to just kind of get a little bit of leverage to really get this off the, the first time. So that, you can see that we have an issue with the plastic insert here. Same thing as last time. That one comes off. And now this one, we've got a plastic insert here that's being stubborn. So what I'm going to do is just kind of lock that down. And I'm just going to kind of work this back and forth a little bit here. Now it's, it's good that these things happen. A lot of people would edit something like this out of a video. I want to show you exactly what's going on in a video because this is reality. This is what you're going to look at. Very little effort was necessary to get that off. I didn't want to leave this on the chair, so that's really important. And what I'm going to do here, exactly the same thing that I did on the first one, that goes flush. That one you can see a little bit of space, but you can also see that the top is a little bit thicker than the bottom. So they spaced it out really pretty perfectly here. On is typically a little bit easier than off in this case. And what we'll do, we will just basically line that up. Get that guy in there. It looks like this is gonna be very simple. So again, I don't do this too tight. It's not necessary. And especially if I wanna take this kit off later on, that's about it. It doesn't need to be ultra tight. I don't want to strip any screws or any threads or anything like that. I just want to be relatively careful. And again, you take a look at that little plastic insert on either side. I just want to make 100% certain that I have that done the correct way, which I do. Be able to kind of get these started with your fingers and you can see that this is once you get going, you can see how simple this is. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. And we just take a look here, that's tightening up. So as soon as we get to the point where I feel that that's about as much as it's gonna take, just tighten it a little bit. And there we go, that, that was it. I mean, we got those extensions on very quickly and I'll just demonstrate some utility now. So let's see, first and foremost, what do we have in between the armrests now, the space? Oh, look at that, we've got over 22 inches. The overall width of the chair now is gonna be 25 and a half inches. And one thing that I like to show people is the chair's locked in place. Even with the armrest extension kit, can you balance on a chair? You sure can. These are as strong as they get. Easy peasy, one, two, three. In and out of the chair. Last step is just putting the joystick back on and enjoying your eagle with 22 and a half inches of space in between the armrest. Thank you so much for watching. You can learn a lot more at quickandmobile.com.